guys, it's time to call these damn people out. I'm sick of these people sitting on the sidelines while this is going on. And it's time to call them out. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, if you are a part of the zombies community, uh, pretty much everybody knows at this point, if you know you're within the loop in any sort of way, that Mr. T Lexify, uh, otherwise known as Lex, has been accused of being a pedophile, right? And there's been posts online suggesting that as well and showing that, you know, he's doing things that are very inappropriate. Um, and it's kind of his ex-girlfriend pushing the whole thing. And, you know, she's been talking about, you know, how he's been doing this to her since she was very young and et cetera, et cetera. Now, I'm not going to get too far into the rabbit hole. There's one specific up or specific point I want to get to. Um, all the rest of it, there's already great content out there that you can watch and kind of get caught up with the situation if you don't know. But I'm here to call out some specific names. And that is the Z House members. Now, you might be wondering, why the Z House members? And if you don't know who these people are, that is MC Sports Hawk, Matt, Jack, Lonely Mailbox, Patrick, Smith Plays, and Chucky, or Chucky for the win. Now, Chucky, I doubt will come out and say anything just because Mr. Beast already has a fiasco like that going on with his, uh, on his, or of his own. And, you know, he's probably going to be more involved on that side of it now that he's working for him. But just as far as these other YouTubers, they have been involved in the zombies community, you know, somewhat recently. And in the Z house specifically, I want to just point out a post that she put that kind of puts them under the fire as far as like, we need to know answers. So let me go ahead and go to this post and kind of explain what I'm talking about and why they need to come out and say something. So we're here on X Twitter, whatever you want to call it. And this right here is Lex's ex-girlfriend. Okay. This post that she has above, which I'm not going to show the whole video just because they he ends up doing something very inappropriate in the video. I don't want to show on YouTube. Um, but basically, he's touching her inappropriately, and it looks awful. And at the time, she's supposed to be 16, I think she uh, said it. Uh, yeah, she says right there that it was uh, she was 16 at the time, and that it was at a Z House party, right? She says it was, it was at a Z House party, and that she was drunk and high out of her mind, and, you know, basically just saying that all this stuff was given to her underage, et cetera, et cetera. Now, the touching her is one subject, and that is wrong. And for people that are trying to make this argument that, oh, well, the legality in Canada is 16, or in California it's 18, whatever, whatever laws you go by, and this is just me morally as a human being, I don't care if it's legal in Canada for you to consent at 16, if you are messing with a 16-year-old, period, there's something wrong with you. And that's just end of story for me. Just as far as morally, whenever I look at somebody and I, you have the mental capacity to be like, well, you know, she's 16, whatever, I'm just going to go after it. I, I just, I don't get that. To me, I think there's something mentally wrong with you to be okay with that when they're not even fully grown adults yet. I don't care what the law is. That's just my opinion. Obviously, you can have your own opinion in you know, whatever way you want to look at it, but that's just my opinion. I think anytime you touch somebody under 18, regardless, I don't care what the law is, I think that's just screwed up. But I digress. So, like I said, she talks about how this was at the Z House. Now, you're probably wondering, okay, why are you calling out these specific guys? And it doesn't even necessarily have to be those four. I'm only naming them because they were at the Z house the whole time. I'm pretty sure Noah J was at the Z house at some point. I'm pretty sure Mr. Raffle Waffles was at the Z house at some point. And other zombies YouTubers, maybe code, yeah, code name Pizza, um, hung out with them, I think, making a little music video, Mr. Dolly JD, all these people. And this was a Z house party that she's talking about. Now, the reason why I'm calling these guys out is that they have to have vital information about this. If they were having parties like this, let's say they had a party at the Z house and they had all the zombie YouTubers there and they were drinking, having fun or whatever. And then they were throwing drugs around for whatever reason. Um, you know, that, whatever that's on them. Right. But whenever you get 16 year olds involved, not only 
is it illegal to give them the alcohol and the drugs in the first place? Which she shouldn't be doing anyways. Like, I don't understand why you're doing that. You're also on camera. Like, you can go to the post yourself if you want to watch it. But it shows him groping her breasts. Okay? A 16-year-old. And he's 18 or 19 at the time. Something like that. Either way, it's wrong. Right? Either way. Doesn't matter. And I'm calling you guys out. Now... MC Sports Talk, Matt, where are you at? Where's the details? What were these parties about? What did you do at these parties? Patrick, uh, uh, Smith Place, what were you guys doing at these parties? Did you know Lex had this girl at the party? Jack, Lonely Mailbox, uh, Chucky, or anybody else, any other zombie YouTuber that might have been at these parties, Noah, uh, Mr. Dalek JD, Mr. Raffle Waffles, whoever it is, right? If any of y'all have info on this, you need to stop being a little pussy and start coming out and saying something. Because if this is untrue, let's say that she isn't telling the truth here. Maybe it wasn't at a Z house party, right? Maybe it was just them hanging out alone. Then, okay, she's lying about that, right? And the reason why that's important is because these guys could all know about Lex doing this. What if he brought her there and introduced her to all of them and all that, you know, hey, here's all the rest of the guys, blah, 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 we're going to have fun, and they start popping drugs and, you know, drinking and all this shit in L.A., you know, having fun, whatever the hell they're doing, and they all know about this, and they met her, et cetera, et cetera. Somebody needs to come out and say something. I don't care which one of them it is, but... One of them needs to come out and say something because number one, it's going to clear out this specifically, right? Because in my opinion, it it's not just him. I think she looks really bad in some instances too, like I said a while ago. But in my opinion, these people, if they knew about it, these other YouTubers, if they knew about this, they knew Lex was hanging out with a 16-year-old, they are just as guilty as he is. Because they let it happen. If if I come to you, right, and you're my friend, known each other for a long time, et cetera, et cetera, and I bring this 16-year-old girl over there, the natural reaction should be, wait, bro, what are you doing? Right? And you can tell in the video she's a young girl. It's not like it's one of those things where, oh, she's tricking everybody. She looks like an adult, right? She looks like a young, really young person. Now, unless these guys are just damn oblivious and they just don't understand what young and old looks like, who knows? But in my opinion, more than likely, they knew about this because if they're throwing parties, they're going to all be together drinking, having fun, laughing. Uh, she said there was drugs involved as well, which, you know, that's a whole nother topic for a different day, just as far as that's concerned. But one of these YouTubers, one of these YouTubers over here making all this money, for us to fucking watch their shit. They need to come out and say something about this. And like I said, a lot of them are probably going to be too pussy about it and not say anything because they're scared about the reputation. But somebody needs to say something. Because if this happened at the Z house, the quote unquote peak of the zombies community, right? And these people know about it. These people here also the, the Z House members or whoever else was there also needs to be held accountable for letting it happen. Now, you may not agree with me on that. You may say, oh, well, it's not their responsibility or whatever. I, I think differently on that. If you know that's going on and you know that this person is too young and you know this, it, it seems fishing, you don't say anything about it and you let it happen, then you're just as guilty in my opinion. So, that's all I wanted to talk about, guys. Um, I mean, if you're interested, you can go to her Twitter. Here's her Twitter here and kind of look at what everybody's been talking about here. Uh, Lex has also put out statements. Like I said, I'm not going to go too in depth about it just because there's already great videos about, you know, about this topic and other people talking about it. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it off there. But guys, we need to call these people out. We need to do something about it because if they know anything about what was going on here, if what she said is true and that that moment right there that she recorded happened at the Z house in a party. And then if any of these guys know, 
these guys need to be held accountable to. I'm sick of not just zombie YouTubers, just YouTubers and influencer, or influencers in general getting away with this type of shit just because they have some power, they have some money, they have some viewership, right? It's not just Lex. You got, uh, I forget, Mr. Beast's friend who went fucking trans or whatever. They're also in a little thing now. And then you have uh, uh, Dr. Disrespect and all that. And I'm glad all these people are getting ousted or, you know, pretty much exposed for this. But at the same time, it's sad that it even had to come to this point. It's sad that adults can't look at those type of situations with, you know, people under 18 and say, this is not a good idea. Right. Regardless of whatever you think, sit there and think logically for a damn second and say, this is not OK. This is not right. And I'm not going to do this. But unfortunately, it, it's the, the deed's been done. There's video. Like I said, that video of Lex is very hard to watch, um, especially for me personally, just because um, I've watched him ever since I was young. And just thinking about the fact that he was willing to touch someone at 16 like that, right? 15, 16, there's been arguments. Either way, it's wrong. The fact that he was willing to do that just makes me feel weird because I was watching him at that age. I was watching him at that age. And it's just, it's just, it's crazy to think that he was doing all this. So like, like I said, I don't want to get too far in the rabbit hole here. I just want to kind of give my little opinion on the situation and specifically about the topic of, like I said, the Z House portion of this, because if something happened and somebody knows, if one of these zombie YouTubers knows what was going on that night, they need to come out. I don't care if they're buddies with Lex. I don't care. They need to come out and tell the damn truth. And if one of these guys knows and they don't come out and say anything to save their ass, they're pussies and they're cowards. And they're just as guilty as them. So guys, we, we need to call these people out. We need to have them say something. We need to get them to say something. These people won't even put statements out about it. Like I think the only zombie YouTuber that's like decent size that I've seen so far put out a statement is FPS Psycho. And he just completely cut ties with the guy, even though he said if he, he got concrete evidence that didn't happen, he just couldn't in good conscience do anything. Which is, I mean, is I agree with him because even if Lex were to come out, right, and say, oh... This isn't true. This isn't true. This isn't true. The fact is, the damage is already done, in my opinion. Once you see the video of him touching her at 16, for me, it's done. It's over. It's over. So, I'm going to go ahead and end it off there, guys. I appreciate you watching. Um, let's get these people to say something, man. We need to call them out. We need to at them. We need to comment in the videos and tell them, to stop being pussies and hiding in the shadows while this is going on. When one of the big major uh, community members of the zombie community is being accused of stuff like this. When potentially one of them knows what is going on here. So thank you guys for watching the video again. Um, and guys, don't do this shit. Just don't do it.